Hey chums! We are over in Disney Springs today and we are going to be trying the boathouse for the first time. So we heard that there's a new brunch starting today. So I'm excited. First of all, we've never eaten at the boathouse before. So even if there isn't a different menu, it's still going to be exciting for us because it's still something new. Yeah. But I'm very curious to see if there's a different well, menu. Well, they actually, they actually have not posted the new menu online yet. So we haven't been able to look and see what is available for us uh, to eat at brunch. But uh, we're going to see if, 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 if for some reason it's not happening, which is highly unlikely. We're still going to have lunch here and have a great meal. Yeah, I've heard this place is, great. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. So before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to this channel right this second if you have not done so already. Smack that like button and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications every time we upload a new video. While we're waiting to be called for our reservation, um, they have something really cool over here, which we're not doing today, but at some point I want to do. Um, they have a, how do you pronounce it? Amphicar? Amphicar. Amphicar. Like amphibian car. Mm. Like amphibious car. So it's, a, it's actually a car that drives into the water and turns into a boat. Um, they apparently were built during the late 60s, early 70s. Only a handful were built, only a handful are left. Very small handful are left. Um, I believe they have six of them here. So these are original 1960s models, Amphicars. And uh, it didn't take off. It wasn't really a huge thing like they thought it was going to be, but Disney decided to buy some of them and offer the service here right next to the boathouse. They are, uh, it's $125 per car load, but if you eat at the boathouse, you get $25 off, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So I definitely want to do that sometime. Yeah, we absolutely should, because it really looks like a lot of fun. And I think that if, I think we could actually catch someone about to take off. Let's go ahead and do that. Right here outside of Boathouse is one of the coolest antiques I've ever seen. It is a flying saucer boat. I really want to ride in this thing. I wish it was uh, possible. Look at this. This is so awesome. So you have the option of sitting inside like we're doing today. And there's different rooms of this restaurant. Everything is really cool looking. If you sit outside, you're right on the water. You have a really wonderful view out there of um, Disney Springs and everything that's surrounding it. And then what else is really cool is inside this restaurant, there's a table that is a boat. And to get that table, I believe you do have to request it. So if it's available or I possibly if you book it ahead of time, um, it, it, then you would be able to go ahead and you would actually be able to eat out of a boat, which looks pretty fun. So they do indeed have the brunch menu available here. This is brand new. Starting today is the brunch. Um, so it looks like we've got some drinks that we can start off with here. That orange crush looks fantastic. That's probably going to be the winner. And then over here we have what they call Captain's Choice. This is like the entree size. I'm assuming they're entree size because they're offering things like uh, shrimp and grits, jumbo lump crab cakes benedict, which sounds awesome too. This all sounds really good. And then the little sides you can get include like two eggs, any style, home fries, cheddar beer grits, etc. I think this is gonna be good. All right, so since it's our first time here, I asked about a gluten-free menu, and they said that they don't have a specific gluten-free menu, but most of the stuff here is gluten-free or can be adjusted to gluten-free, and they even have some gluten-free bread. This bread is not gluten-free, however, but it is a cinnamon bread with icing, and uh, so basically we're starting with something sweet. I'm not going to complain about Oh, boy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This looks really good. Hands are already a mess. I don't mind. Oh, that's gonna be for me. Thank you. And my drink has arrived as well. I got the orange crush, which is Stoli orange vodka, Salerno, orange juice, and soda. So I'm gonna try both of these here. Let's just go ahead and start by putting a little butter on my cinnamon roll. Because why not? Yeah. That 
just like a honey roll. The icing, a little bit of cinnamon with the butter, it's just perfect. We're gonna dive right into this drink next. This just looks really, really good. I give this orange a squeeze just because I like orange flavor. We might as well. Cheers. quite good. It's not too sweet, which is good because this cinnamon roll is extremely sweet. I don't want too many sweets to start my day. Yeah, that's a nice crisp drink. Very good. Since we have gotten here, Adam has gotten a dozen compliments on his new socks. Why don't you show your... Yeah, quite proud of these. <laughs> Mike Tyson's Punch-Out socks. Yes, indeed. The man himself, Kid Dynamite. <laughs> I am starting off with some lobster bisque, which they told me is thickened with rice flour. So this is gluten-free. You have to be careful with the soups, but they said that this is rice flour. It's nice and rich. This bisque is really, really good. This is not from the uh, brunch menu that just launched today. I did get something else to eat that will be from the brunch level. I just was really excited that I could have some soup that's gluten free because I love soup. I ordered a couple of oysters. You have a few options when you're ordering oysters here. And I got decided to go with what they call the Lucky Ducks. And uh, I wanted to go with two of them because one, this is never enough for oysters. I got a pretty decent sized meal coming, so I didn't want to do a half dozen because I don't want to ruin my appetite. So let's get started here. We're gonna put a little bit of sauce here. Cocktail sauce with a horseradish. This is cucumber with, oh, it's with like a, almost like a vinegar. Let's try a little bit of that. And um, just for good measure, a couple drops of lemon. All right, some people shoot these things, just knock them back. I have a weird thing about touching my mouth to a shell. I don't know why. It's kind of weird, right? All right. Ooh, I might have to. Yeah, I do. All right, down the hatch. That is a really good oyster. Wow. It's not too briny, real crisp. There's a little bit of an ocean flavor of the aftertaste. Just for a second and then it goes away. That is a great oyster. Alright, so my brunch has just arrived. Normally for the Crab Cakes Benedict, which is what I ordered, they said that there's usually two crab cakes, but because this is gluten-free, they made one big crab cake. So I'm gonna take out the little allergy flag thing that we have here, the allergy stick. Actually, I would like that more on my asparagus. This asparagus looks great too. It looks like it's seasoned with a lot of salt and pepper. All right, so we have your crab cake. There's hollandaise sauce. There's an egg on top of it, and um, some ham. I'm excited to give this a try. Try to get a little bit of everything. That is, that is fantastic. I am so impressed with this crab cake. This is delicious. I feel like I could eat more of these. <laughs> My brunch has also arrived. I got the steak and eggs. Comes with a petit filet. I got two eggs any style. I decided to get my medium so I can dip a little bit of that yolk, dip the steak in the yolk. It comes with home fries, which look really good. These look 
like they've got some onions on them. I decided to add a bagel of cream cheese to the mix because, again, why not? So let's try the steak first. We've got a step one today. Trying to get a little of the sauce. Looks almost like a chimichurri sauce. On top of the steak. It's really good. Wow. Mm. Great flavor with the egg. Mm. Potato in there. No complaints. No, it's single one. So good. Well. That's going to wrap up our brunch video, which was amazing. Yep. Super impressed with the food, super impressed with the service. Our uh, server was really knowledgeable, really friendly, made some great suggestions. And uh, overall, just a fantastic experience and great for the, the price as well. Really good value to what we got. My steak and eggs was, uh, I think, $21. And then I added a bagel and cream cheese on, which was just a few extra bucks. Um, even the drink, I got a, a, I got a, a nice beverage to start my morning. It was seven dollars. Can't beat that. That was seriously awesome. Again, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe right this second if you've not done so already. Smack that like button, hit the bell icon to receive all notifications every time we upload a new video. Until next time, we will see you guys at the parks.